Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, leaving New Orleans this morning. First things first, I need coffee. Ah, uh, that's better. Cheers. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily, that made me laugh for some reason. The Daily Woo. Downtown New Orleans. It's been fun. We weren't here for a long time, but we were here for a good time. The woo? There's the airport. I'm not catching a plane though. I'm simply catching a rental car. The carpetbagger and I are parting ways today. He's going his direction and I'm going mine. There he goes. Off into the wild blue yonder. Out of all the rental car companies, the only one with a line is the one I'm using. There it is. That's my car. Look how beautiful that is. The Mississippi River. Train yard down there also. Check that out. It's an old burned out, flipped over car right there. Six Flags, New Orleans right there. And there is a healthy amount of security here now, but that's it. Still there, rotting away. And don't even attempt to get in there now, because this guy's watching you like a hawk. Or in this case, a crane slash storky looking thing. How many years do you think that arrow has been blinking? Because it doesn't really serve a purpose, because it is physically impossible to go to the right. Oh man, you know I love these old bridges. This is a really long, old, rusted one. Check it out. On June 29th, 1967, a very tragic event happened on this stretch of road. And right here on the right-hand side is a marker signifying that event. It was the final moments of Hollywood's sex symbol and starlet Jane Mansfield. And to this day, people still stop off and pay their respects off the side of the road. It happened in the early morning hours. A pesticide truck, which was traveling down the road, had filled the entire area up with fog. And because of that limited vision, the vehicle she was in went up underneath the back of another truck, thus ending her life. A very sad ending. Basically out here in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana, you can see hardly anyone is driving down this road at the moment. There is a lot of discrepancy and arguments on where the exact spot along this little stretch of road was, but that's the only area where there is any sort of memorial, so I felt it fitting to show that one. And that wreck also led to the invention of what truckers refer to as the Mansfield Bar. Named after the one and only Jane Mansfield. Here's an interesting bridge. What kind of crazy contraption is this? By crossing that bridge, I think I'm technically back in Mississippi. Some towering pine trees. I remember when all the damn Peabody Hold on to this! The birthplace of America's music. At the Welcome Center, they happen to have this just sitting here. It is a lunar lander, and during the 1960s, it was used as a trainer by the Apollo astronauts for their moon missions. That is pretty cool. That's an unusual van. Hollywood. My plans are always changing. I want to be down in Orlando by Thanksgiving, a couple days before Thanksgiving, to spend the holiday with my family. My original game plan was to go back to Atlanta, hang out around there, and then fly down. But for some bizarre reason, rental cars out of New Orleans were dirt cheap. And as soon as I saw the price at that heck of a deal, I snagged it up. And that brings us to the point we're at now. Look at this massive plate of seafood. There is a lot of good stuff in there. And out of all this seafood, Captain got chicken nuggets. Mm. 
It's official. Seafood is very difficult to eat. These crawfish were alive when they arrived, but they have drowned in this garlic. The name of this place is Tasty Tales. You know I'm on a seafood diet, right? Mm -mm. Everything I see, I eat. Get out of there! Get out of that fish! Escape! Get out of there before it digests you. Are you, wait, did you just cut a hole in the side of the fish? Yep. Yes. That's like Rambo style. Wow. This is pretty nice. Pretty good view of the water there. This hotel room was only $48. It's good when you can scour the internet for deals. Thanks, internet. This bathroom is pretty wonderful. And there's even a little couch, a little chill out area. This has to be one of the better deals I've ever gotten on a hotel room. I ended up laying down in that bed and I guess I was pretty tired. So I fell asleep, I took a little, little cat nap and I woke up and it's dark out with this time change. It gets dark so early. Night has fallen. The city of Biloxi was founded by the French and was originally called New Biloxi, and it was the capital of the French colony of Louisiana from 1721 to 1722. Here's some old cannons that they found in the bay from a Spanish ship. And the one here, this cannon, is very dilapidated and falling apart. In fact, there's really not a whole lot left of the barrel. It's just kind of withered away over time. It might be really hard to see it, but in the ground there, made out of concrete, is the silhouette and the shape of a boat. See it right there? That's a boat in the ground. There's a huge guitar right there, lit up, inviting people in to, looks like that's the Hard Rock Casino. And the town square is getting in the festive mood by lighting up their name in Christmas colors. These rental cars are crazy with their backup sensors and cameras. We're living in the future! We're living in the future! I need a few supplies of things that I am currently out of. I think Family Dollar works. I have been thinking about the progression of our relationship, you and me, together, both of us, all of us, we have built up Something amazing here on the internet, a positive side of the interwebs. Whether you have been watching since that first vlog, or whether you jumped in along the timeline, or whether you've only been watching a week or two, the beauty of this is that you tag along and we start to get to know each other. And I think that is amazing. That is what is so, to use the word, majestic about this daily channel. And I just want to say thank you for being a part of my life. I get up every single day and my sole purpose is to do as much as I can and to try to learn at least one new thing that I did not know the day before or the week before. Now sometimes I fail at this task, but my purpose, the whole reasoning of what I am doing is to accomplish that goal over going to one specific location or one specific genre or topic. It is just to get out and do as much as possible and to show that to you. And you have been gracious and kind enough by watching every day. And that means so incredibly much to me. You will never really comprehend how important that is. I tried for so long in so many bands and so many creative other projects and outlets throughout my life for someone to gain and want interest in what I was doing. And the fact that that has been accomplished and is happening here makes me very grateful. So thank you very much for watching these vlogs. I sincerely appreciate it. I'm always thankful of how things have gone and hopefully crossing my fingers with you tagging along for the journey will continue to go along and progress love you guys see you tomorrow vlog over